Hello everyone, Treex here and welcome back to Pokemon Puzzle League. We have entered Puzzle University. Actually doing puzzles in a puzzle game. Who would have guessed? <laughs> but anyway, um, I was trying to think of something funny to start with, but apparently nothing comes to mind. So let's skip out on the funny this time and let's go do something serious. Last time we actually quickly took care of class 1, which is basically the tutorial to the puzzle mode you might say. By far the easiest puzzles you can find in this game. However, of course the game is going to step up its difficulty from this point on. In fact, the basic puzzles we just did in class 1 aren't the only type of puzzles anymore. We now also have 10 3D puzzles and 10 action puzzles. What that final one actually is we're going to find out later. <laughs> But first we're going to start with the basic puzzles of course, just like with class 1. Of course class 2 also has them. And it looks like Lorelai is going to be our teacher this time around. Of course these are going to be a lot trickier than the ones we did in class 1. So Almost be prepared there. to actually um, shut on your brain this time around. <laughs> But of course I came prepared, I've actually uh, made sure I've practiced these uh, puzzles beforehand so I at least know somewhat what the solution is, in case I actually get stuck. Which is not per se a good thing in a let's play, so... <laughs> of course it needs to be somewhat real, therefore me sometimes having to think is a good thing, yes, but I also don't want to waste too much time thinking, so... <laughs> I was smart enough to actually um, test these puzzles out beforehand. This one in all honesty seems not really that difficult. This is all a matter of lining everything up. Like I've uh, said in Yoshi's Cookie and Tetris Attack. Both puzzle games were also puzzle modes are present of course. And my number one advice from those games is also my number one advice in this game. As difficult as puzzles may seem, the key is always in lining everything out with the moves you have. Excluding your final move, of course. That one needs to be used for the trigger. <laughs> um, does not work from the right, so we need to make an L-shape on the left, of course. Like this. Almost yeah. there. Kind of remembered that <laughs> from yesterday. Because yes, I've actually practiced class That's 2 great. yesterday, so all of these puzzles should be in my memory somewhat still. Oh yeah, this one's actually pretty fun. Looks like a big mess of blue blocks, and it works as follows. Bottom line first, and then the rest. <laughs> awesome puzzle. Looks a little bit like one that was in Tetris Attack already. Only on this yeah. one we had more stuff in the middle. <laughs> Number six. Okay, these are my least favorite types of puzzles in all honesty, the towers. <laughs> it's usually a matter of finding the trigger, and not per se lining things out. Oh, uh, this apparently works. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason why these uh, tower puzzles are actually my least favorite ones. Great job. Because there things actually get turned around. You don't look for lining things out, but actually looking for the trigger. And therefore lining things out. Which is reverse nature for me. Oh, and this is wrong. <laughs> the blue blocks were inverted, Almost so we need to do it like this. Yeah, this works. I'm not too sure if this is the only solution. This uh, strikes me as the kind of puzzle where multiple things should be possible. But this is the solution I came with. Yes, keep it up. This is not a let's play where I'm going to show off every single possible solution. <laughs> Some puzzles can actually be solved in multiple ways, of course. This one just works like this. Line everything out in the bottom. And the rest falls automatically. Okay, great. Last time I was able to actually get 30 puzzles in around 10 minutes. Let's see if I can actually do the same. Even though this is class 2. Um, oh yeah, L-shape, the green. Pretty easy. Almost there. In all honesty, I should have seen that sooner. <laughs> but this also works. That's great. Number 10. A lot of blue blocks from both types. <laughs> but this is also an L shape. Almost the fact that there are five of these light blue blocks actually gives that away pretty easily. That is also one of the bigger advices I can always give you of course. Advice number two. <laughs> Count the number of blocks in each color. In this case we have three blocks for all of the colors. 
and therefore this one can be relatively easy. But the moment you count four or five types of um, single color of blocks, then you know what you need to do. <laughs> because four or five of the same color blocks can only be cleared as one. But it seems we are done with the four and five blocks because we're getting nothing but three block puzzles now. <laughs> this is another one. Let's line everything out. Red ones go to the left and the blue ones to the right with the green as the trigger. Looks more intimidating than it actually is. <laughs> of yeah, course, these kinds that. of puzzles will return later in much more difficult form. This is still class 2 after all, so... Can't be too difficult yet. And I just explained that I don't like these tower puzzles. <laughs> and here's another one. Although I think I see this one. Purple is clearly the trigger here. Um, we need something for the purple blocks to fall on. But not like this, because yellow does not line out. Uh, this way it does. You can throw yellow to the right. Although this one is not correct, because that leftmost yellow block is actually not in the correct position. So, um... No, <laughs> it's the same mistake. <laughs> Okay, this one is even worse. <laughs> um, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, um, because of the blue block on the right, I'm pretty sure that is actually part of the chain. So there has to be a blue block on the left here. Because yellow block... Yeah, there's no way to actually line this out, so... No, um, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Tower puzzles. Why? <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. I can just put the top blue block down here. And then I can pull this purple one. And if I pull this yellow one, we have a solution. <laughs> here goes me practicing beforehand, the day before this. And I still end up failing a puzzle. <laughs> Very impressive. But luckily, it didn't take me too long. But this is precisely the reason why I'm practicing these puzzles beforehand. <laughs> and this one not per se, because even though this one looks like a pretty big one, the solution is pretty simple. <laughs> for this one, you just need to be careful for the blocks that have the same color as the trigger. Those red and yellow blocks that actually fall in two separate steps. And that is why puzzles like That's these can great. be a little bit confusing to look at. But the moment you know the solution, it is not that difficult. Here's another example of one of those kinds of puzzles. We have two types of purple blocks. There are six of them, so something like this Almost is definitely there. not the solution. <laughs> they need to fall in separate steps. And the yellow and red blocks do make it a little bit easy to see what we need to do. Just line them out like Almost this, there. and we have ourselves a solution. <laughs> Holy world. Holy world. All right, halfway. Although, my clock is already at 9 yeah. minutes, so... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to reach 30 puzzles in 10 minutes video time. <laughs> okay, remember, count your blocks. We will see we have 5 purple blocks. And 4 yellow ones. And therefore, both of them actually need to fall in the same line. These purple ones can actually be put in an L shape. Um, just correctly... Oh yeah, I need to pull the bottom right. Almost there. And then we can make an L shape like this. Pretty obvious, actually. If you bother to actually take a look at it. <laughs> Great job. Those L shapes, man. They use that a little bit too much. Therefore, they become a little bit too predictable sometimes. <laughs> okay, this looks like a mess of purple and red blocks. But the stuff to the Almost right already there. looks lined out. So I think we only need to work on the left, like this. The left side was only meant for a trigger. Yes. So, number 18. Oh yeah, this one. This one actually took me a while yesterday. This Almost is obviously there. not a solution, because as you can see, the light blue and dark blue blocks Almost are actually there. not aligned with the middle part. Therefore, we need an extra step. That is actually this one, so we can make a six combo here. 
The bottom two blocks actually get cleared by the second highest set, and the highest set will fall in place at the bottom. <laughs> Interesting puzzle, definitely. Can appreciate puzzles like those. A lot more than those stupid tower puzzles. <laughs> okay, we have four moves for a relatively easy looking puzzle. Okay, this gives away we have five green blocks to work with. So let's go see if we can put them in an L shape. You should know how it works by now. If you get five blocks of the same color, you know you're going to end up in an L shape eventually. <laughs> Just a matter of finding out how we actually need to lay that out. And the red blocks will obey my every move. <laughs> Thank you. 10 minutes and 10 seconds That's in great. game time. Obviously out game time we have a lot more. Okay, this looks interesting. Especially this bottom row. <laughs> that looks like something we can clear. However, we need to clear everything up top as well. Although I am pretty sure the trigger is indeed at the bottom part. First we need to line everything else up. Yeah, the purple blocks actually need to connect to that single purple block on the second row. But this is definitely a tricky one. If I remember correctly we actually need to make an L shape out of these red blocks. Kind of like this. That is actually the trigger if I remember correctly. And yeah, it's safe to say, uh, when I was practicing yesterday, this one actually took me a while to find out. <laughs> but because of it being so tricky, I luckily remembered the solution, so... Unlike puzzle number 13. <laughs> and this one is pathetically easy. Even in practicing yesterday, I immediately saw this one, so... <laughs> this one was way too easy. Was kind of crowded, but all of all not difficult. Great job. This one looks intimidating, but we only have two moves, so it can't be too difficult. In fact, all we have to do is work with the bottom right corner. <laughs> times three and times four. Thank you. That was puzzle number twenty-two for class two. Yes, keep it up. Let's see if we can actually reach the 3D part of the puzzles in this episode as well. Only eight more to do. And this one looks easy because the blue block actually gives away what we need to do. <laughs> Those single three blue blocks. Way too obvious as a trigger. <laughs> Making this one really simple. 24. Ah, five green blocks and five yellow blocks. My favorite type of puzzle. <laughs> Let's go create an L-shape out of the green ones. This one should be correct, because the yellow blocks actually move to the Almost left. Dead. Both of them... Holy correct! <laughs> or, as the puzzles from Xenoblade Chronicles 3 actually say, Correctamundo! <laughs> oh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Why am I referencing you in Pokemon Puzzle League? <laughs> um... Triggers to the right, that one's obvious. Yeah, we have two yellow blocks that actually remain. So we want to disengage the two left blocks from this combo. And they will stay around in order to take care of the other two yellow blocks. <laughs> we finish off with an awesome times six chain. Awesome fanfare. <laughs> Let's go get some more. Puzzle 26. Four green blocks. And the trigger is a six combo, like this. T-shaped six combo. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. This is another puzzle I didn't even have to practice. This one I also immediately saw. <laughs> However, does that also apply to 27? Yeah, this one's also not really that difficult. We need to create a seven combo out of these yellow and blue blocks. And in such a way that the red blocks actually line out, like this. That is the solution here. Three more to go. And hopefully yeah, some time to also do some 3D puzzles. Because that is something I'm looking forward to. <laughs> oh, this one is actually really interesting. I actually found a skill chain solution for this one. Allow me. It's pretty obvious this is not the intended way to actually solve this. But uh, <laughs> you can actually do it like this. <laughs> Solutions like these are actually more suited for the action puzzles we'll meet later on. <laughs> 
probably not today if I look at my time. Just remember what I did just now for the action puzzles in the next episode. <laughs> um, okay, really easy. Just line out the yellow and the green blocks. And lining those two out is also immediately the solution. <laughs> Functions as the trigger as well. Those are probably the easiest kind of puzzles, where the lining out of the blocks That's and the trigger great. are actually the same moves. Those aren't really challenging, in all honesty. <laughs> but the final one might be. It's not the final one for nothing. There's way too many yellow blocks over here, so the puzzle sure does look confusing. I think I need to create an L shape out of these yellow blocks at the bottom. Yeah, like this. Almost See? Dead. L shape combo over here. <laughs> and the rest falls into place. And then we were done. Basic puzzles, yeah. class 2. Completed. And therefore, we take the first step in earning our next diploma. But of course, we are not done yet. Unlike class 1, this time we actually have multiple types of puzzles to go through. Unlike the basic puzzles, there's not 30 of them, only 10. <laughs> but there's definitely a different kind of puzzle present in class 2. 3D puzzles. And I think the name already says enough. These are going to be puzzles that take place on a 3D playing field. Like this. <laughs> Most of these are actually not per se difficult, more of a show off, you might say. <laughs> The game will go all out with crazy numbers of combos and chains in uh, most of these puzzles. The first one being relatively tame, but uh, trust me, we are going to see crazy chains and crazy combos while going Great through the job. 3D puzzles. <laughs> Let's see if the second one actually uh, has more to show us. And apparently not, because this is also a pretty tame one. It's only the second one, so let's give the game some time. <laughs> remember puzzles where the game actually fills the entire playing field with nothing but blocks yes, that actually fall into giant chains and combos. But also not this one apparently. Yeah, this one is just way too easy. <laughs> you have a 16 combo here. It's already starting to look like something. And combos that actually fall in different kinds of places also looks pretty interesting. But not per se something we can call spectacular yet. Perhaps puzzle number four. Yeah, Almost I'm not even going there. to pretend that this is challenging. <laughs> the symmetry in this does look cool. That you do have to admit. But I'm looking for something a little bit more spectacular. And we should be at the point where we actually reach That's that. Great. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> This looks kind of crowded. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's only on one side, so it is going to get worse oh later God. on. But this is already a start of um, how the game is going to play around with crazy combos. This times five. <laughs> the game even calls it special. <laughs> Doesn't even bother counting it. Apparently, I need to do it myself. <laughs> yeah, the previous one was a 40. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. Time lag! <laughs> Ooh, the double fanfare is always awesome to hear. <laughs> yes. First the big fanfare because of the big chain, and then the medium fanfare because of clearing a 3D puzzle. Okay, this one's pretty thin. easy again. Holy world. Holy no, no, wait. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Um, no, this also doesn't work. Almost there. Holy oh, wait, I know. Holy let's get this world. times four, and let's get this times five. Holy and this times six. Holy hey, and we have something left. <laughs> awesome. Not too sure if this is the intended way, but <laughs> it looks awesome this way. <laughs> Great job. Getting this awesome combo and chain. And finishing off with a measly three. <laughs> um, I think... Yeah, Almost let's make a measly there. three again. <laughs> Almost there. And the rest will go automatically. Holy world. Holy world. And that was number seven. We still have time, so let's do three more. And finish off the 3D puzzles yeah, today. We have an awesome little cliffhanger. Right between... The 3D and action puzzles. 
Okay, let's count this combo. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty, forty-four, forty-eight, fifty-two, fifty-six, sixty-four, sixty-eight, seventy-two, seventy-six, eighty. <laughs> Man, that one was way too big. <laughs> Very impressive. Now I can understand why the game actually calls it special if you go above a certain number. It's not worth counting. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Almost there. The triggers obvious, these yellow blocks. And then we got another way too big combo. 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44. And we don't have to count this one because it's just the same. <laughs> 44 combos, man. Times 5 becomes another 4. Times 6 is another 44. <laughs> oh man, this really reminds me of Domino for some reason. <laughs> you always see awesome stuff like this in that as well. Let's go take a look at this final one from the background. <laughs> I never can get enough of those double fanfares. <laughs> That's great. One more to go, and we have another episode. This one is pretty obvious. But there. It's pretty clear by now the 3D puzzles don't really exist because of the challenge. They only exist as a matter of a show-off, you might say. The game trying to show off spectacular ways to clear blocks in the panel the pawn form. Which actually got expanded because of the 3D playground we now have. More awesome things are possible that 2D playgrounds can only dream of. That was the introduction to the 3D puzzles. Yes. Obviously, this was just the introduction. It was not so easy for nothing. <laughs> Later on, these are going to get a lot more challenging, obviously. Don't expect all of them to be this easy. However, when it comes to class 2, we have reached the end. And therefore, also the end of the episode. Next time you're going to tackle the action puzzles. See you folks then. And I will say, Treeks out.